Next up on the morning show, I've got a special guest, Joanna Cree. Ms. Cree is 23 years old and has already built a successful software business. You may have heard of her app Park Now, which helps you find parking quickly in just about any city in the world. But lately, she's been focusing on something new and controversial. If you have high school aged kids, you may want to send them out of the room because Ms. Cree is here to talk to us about her upcoming book, which has the rather shocking title, College is a Waste of Time. Welcome to the show, Ms. Cree. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So, convince us. Why shouldn't we send our kids to college? Because I've got to say, skipping college sounds like a bad idea to me. Oh, there are many reasons. But before you ask, let me start out with a disclaimer. There are obviously some careers that require college. If it's your life's goal to become a licensed professional, like a lawyer or a doctor, then you need a degree. But that doesn't apply to the vast majority of young people. So, is your position that college is too expensive? Because there are other ways to solve that problem. The expense isn't my main argument against college. Although I think it's terrible that young people go into debt while they study and then spend years paying that money back. Don't people with college degrees make more money? That's what everyone says. But I would argue that the data is misleading. I think college graduates are more successful because society is set up so that people who are smart and ambitious go to college. If more of those people decide to fulfill their dreams outside of school, the effect will disappear. Hmm. Aren't you just basing this on yourself? I mean, you're clearly very driven and self motivated, and that has enabled you to educate yourself and start a business. But what about the rest of us normal people? <laughs> But you see, that's exactly the problem. Our educational system teaches us to follow directions, to memorize facts, to take tests. And those are not the skills we need in today's economy. You know Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple? He dropped out of college. Bill Gates and Paul Allen, who started Microsoft? They dropped out of college. The founders of Twitter and Facebook? Also college dropouts. Again, those are remarkable people. For most of us, becoming the next Steve Jobs or Mark Zuckerberg isn't exactly an achievable goal. I disagree. I mean, yes, of course they are exceptional people, but. Also, all of those people are in the tech field, as you are yourself. Maybe the tech sector is just different. Yes, all of those people are in tech. But that doesn't mean this idea only applies to software coders. What it means is that other fields need to learn from the tech sector. Our industry encourages people to be entrepreneurial, to have creative ideas and start their own businesses, and that's what our economy needs. So you think that if more young people skip college, it will help the economy? Absolutely. If we train secondary students in the skills they actually need to succeed, which are networking, resource use, creativity, and a high tolerance for failure, Then more of them will start small businesses, which are the true engines of our economy. Isn't college a good place for networking? Not really. The best way to develop a good network and find mentors is to get out there and talk to people who are working in the real world, not hanging out on college campuses. Okay. Well, explain the importance of tolerance for failure. Seems like you could learn that in college. You could. But ideally, you should learn it much younger. Kids should be taught to be creative, to try new things, and to understand that failure is an important part of the learning process. If they're just memorizing facts and taking tests, it's easy for smart kids to get by without ever really experiencing failure. They end up with the extremely unrealistic idea that success is easy. But learning from failure is a crucial part of becoming successful. Hmm. Okay, well. We're out of time. I'm not sure I'm convinced that dropping out of college is a solution for everyone, but this has been very interesting. Thank you for coming in.